Testing Model Builders. Welcome back. This is the review of the F4C Phantom by Ravel. The decals were done in the candy cane, as you can see. Front, top, side, bottom. Turn it over. All the armor on this aircraft is absolutely wonderful. You see the candy cane on that as well. Let's talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. First off, this is a Ravel kit, so we know those can be a little bit challenging to put together. Uh, some of the good. There are no seam lines on any of the uh, canopies that you see here. Nothing in the middle, nothing on the sides. Just small little bits right here that you have to be careful when you break away from the screw because you might crack it. So just be patient and be careful with it. There is a seam line that goes all the way across the entire fuselage of the aircraft, so be careful with that. Now, as you know, right here, these antenna, you have to be careful, they can break off real easy. Be careful with those as well on the back. Uh, I had a little trouble with the fit right here with the stabilizers. The wheels don't exactly go straight. It's a Revell kit. I had a little trouble putting on the landing gear doors for the rear. They don't quite, they're a little too big, I think, so you may want to have to redo some of those just to give them to fit right, and you can tell it's kind of cramped. Painting this model is always a beast because you have to get under here first before you put any of this stuff on. So in order to do that, you need to spray paint it first. So once you get all that, you can do the camo. Now, as you can see, the camo turns out really good. Uh, due to the striping on here, you can A, either use the decals or do the stripes independently by spray painting them. Might be harder for you to do. I don't have the skill level to do that, nor the patience, so I use the decals. So one of the things you'll have to do when you do that is you paint white under that. You may have to go out a little extra just to make sure you get it in the right spots because you really don't know exactly how these decals are going to lay when you do that. So once you get them to lay right and then you let it dry, you have to go back and do a little bit of touch-ups. Be careful when you mask off the decals. I had some problems with that because I didn't do it right and I peeled off some of the clear coating on there. Never really got it back on. It is what it is, but you know what we could call that? Weathering. It's called a mistake, but it's a happy one. Got a little issues over here because my fingers had some dirt on them. Happy mistakes. Only thing I didn't do on the decals was put on all of the no steps because they're everywhere and I felt this model looked fine without them. I have plenty of them that I've done with the no steps and I just did not feel like messing around with it. So we're going to get up close and personal with this model and show you exactly what we're talking about. Let's start with the right side of the model right here. As you can see, this is a nice, detailed, somewhat detailed version. Here we have the top of it. You can see we just want to go over that very carefully. See, we'll have a seam line right there all along that whole thing. This is the left side of the aircraft. We're going to turn it around, and we are going to look from the back side. A nice view. So let's look at a little more detail. Here's the front of this nose portion here. You can see what that looks like. We're even going to get closer a little bit later. You can see why the engine intakes will have a seam line right there that we're going to have to cover up. We have all of our missile tanks and all that good stuff. Here's the leading edge of the wing. And of course the rear. And just scroll up a little bit. And here are the ends of the engines. So landing gear right there. A little bit of the uh, lights that you see. Just the intake. Getting a good view right here of the bottom of the other side like that. You can see I had on my drop tank a little bit of fuzz left over. So here is the front of the fuselage right there. You saw how that seam line was covered up in the front. Here's our front pilot. Didn't do the back. A little bit more of that intaking. You see where there's a seam line where that looks like a little putty's missing. Maybe could have done that a little bit better. Fairly covered it pretty well. And of course the seam line slowly right down the middle of this aircraft. Here's a nice somewhat detailed look of the inside of the cockpit. Now here's that seam line that you'd have to hide. You can see where as well the uh, two joints are for the decals and then all the way up is what it is on this aircraft. Not the best place to put a seam right down the middle of the whole entire aircraft. Here we go coming from the back side and 
looking through the canopies. As you can see, it's kind of hard to see through those, which is why I wasn't worried about the detail of how it looked. And real, another close-up, you could see where these seams are, where the two decals meet and all that good stuff. Another close-up right here of the canopy. It got a little bit of dust in there. It's been sitting for a while. And you can kind of see inside of there. We're going to show you a little bit better view of that. You could see the ejection handles and, of course, the pilot's helmet. And here's the rest of that. So as you can see, there was a quick shot of the inside. Now here, a really nice shot of that. Really hard to see in there. You got to hold it just right. And, of course, the rear seat. I just wanted it to look a little dirty. I think it looked good once it was in the plane. You see how I bent that antenna right there? And then you see the decal didn't lay very well up top on that white portion. Show you one more time right there. This is a nice shot of the rear. And then there's that decal right there. I thought it laid better than what it did, but apparently it didn't. Inside of the engines, very bland. Not very good, as you can see. They could have done that better especially for a Ravel model. Here's the pilot, nice view in that rear seat. This is the front canopy. Going from the other side, you can see inside of this cockpit from that angle. And there's the rear and you can see a little things. And one more quick shot of that. There you go, that's what it looks like. I feel I made it look pretty because you know, model making madness. So here's some decal placement. You see them all that go all along that edge of the cockpit right there this is the bottom portion you see all along the intake and of course we have the uh, troop of it whatever that is a special operations wing going along the wing you can see where i had to do the touch up with the decals right along the edges of all that i just call it weathering it looks funny got our rear engine and of course that metallic look i can't remember what it is <laughs> But there it is, my bad, I apologize for not remembering the type of metal that it was used. Probably a steel or stainless steel. So, this is the left side, actually the right side of the plane. There you can see that line mark right there as well. And one more view. Lovely, wonderful. There's a perfect view of that scene right there. It's just like on the other side. Our two intakes, nothing inside of those, very basic. Scroll down right here, we have our wheel, and of course the 3584. You see it's a little tilted and canted, why I don't know. You can see our landing gear just go along the body. This is the underside, fairly basic. I didn't put all the other decals on it because I was lazy. Yes, that's right, lazy. Anyway, that was it. A nice shot right here of the rear. Shined up, looks fairly decent. There's another good shot of it. Maybe you could have done some weathering to it, but I didn't. We got a rear landing gear. This is the flaps, of course, the underside air brakes. A nice shot right here of our front gear and the door. Now you see it, now you don't. Rear landing gear, very colorful black gloss paint. And of course, we can see our actuators. And this is the back for the landing gear doors how they fold in nice detail of this model this is it you've seen it some of our missiles all that good stuff so there's the full rear of the plane underside i'm sorry and that's it well this concludes the review of the f4c phantom i could say the directions were easy to follow for the most part. Of course, you get a little confused when it comes to putting these little guys on right here. We're never sure which direction they go. You just kind of have to put them on. Other than that, great armor, wonderful decal scheme. Loved having to paint the camo on this. This is the F4C Phantom, the 148 scale by Ravel. Remember, subscribe so you can see my next video when it comes out in two weeks. We are going to be starting the Delta Dagger, the 102, right there. You can see it behind me in the case, already done. And soon after that, the F-18F, this one right there, the wonderful blue salty dogs. You see them, they're done. Videos for those are coming up, and you can see the full builds of those. 
Until next time, subscribe, comment, and like.